Good morning. Uh, I still can say it's good morning, even though it's uh, uh, almost noon time. Um, I woke up early this morning, went to uh, Torrance Courthouse for a hearing, and uh, on the way back, um, I thought about the video that I put out uh, last month, uh, and I talk about you know your attorney's character counts for your case, and I was thinking about it because uh, I, I you know the one trip is about forty minutes. Uh, drive in in uh, during that forty minutes. I was thinking, you know, your care, your attorney's character not only counts, uh, your attorney's personality, the way that they proceed, uh, you know, how they litigate a case can also shape the landscape of your case. What do I mean by that? Meaning, uh, you know, whether or not your case is gonna find resolution. Uh, whether or not your uh, case is going to be litigated uh, efficiently, uh, as efficient as possible, whether or not your case is going to be settled um, within a reasonable time. Uh, that's what I've been talking about. And um, right now, currently, I have um, two partnership dispute cases that are on the extreme end of spectrum, okay? Um, you know, again, they are dealing with uh, dispute between the partnerships, uh, which has a, a significant amount of real estate holdings. Um, on one case, I filed on behalf of my client against uh, the, the other partner, and I got a call from the other attorney, and the first thing that came up with uh, his mouth was, hey, what does your client want? And so I told him. I told I told him exactly what I'm expecting, what my client want in terms of resolving this issue. And the the other side's attorney listened, and we uh, work out a plan. Uh, we decided to uh, resolve this uh, matter amicably. Uh, and you know, right now we are uh, in the process of selecting an appraiser to appraise the property, and that's the first step, right? Uh, whether or not they're gonna buy us out or we put a property on market, the first step is to know exactly the value of the a partnership property. Uh, so we are working on that, and we, we uh, find that there's enough trust be between attorneys, and I believe that the matter can be resolved very efficiently and with very uh, uh, you know, reasonable, I wouldn't say short, but a reasonable period of time. Obviously, we need to uh, they take some time for appraisal to come in. Um, you know, we need to dig in whether or not appraisal is done properly, uh, things like that. So, um, uh, I believe that case is going to be resolved uh, very efficiently, okay, without spending all this money on the attorney's fee and the court costs. On the other hand, I have this case. Um, I'm representing the defendant. Um, you know, this partner, this partner of the partnership sued my client. Um, you know, they they filed um, the lawsuit in downtown LA, right? And then we move in and we uh, tell the court that hey, there's an arbitration clause in the partnership agreement. We want to be. Uh, we want to uh, go to arbitration. Obviously, the automatic response of this attorney uh, says no, right? Even though there are a lot of benefit going to uh, arbitration. Um, so, regardless, we filed a motion. We filed a motion to to compel arbitration and to stay the case. The court agreed with us and stay with the, stay the case till uh, the ruling. On our motion to compel arbitration, okay. What did this attorney do? She went to um, Torrance Courthouse and filed another case, um, and claiming, um, you know, the cases are not related and or different. Well, still dealing with the same partnership and the same property. So uh, I don't know. In my perspective, it's related. Okay. Um, so we went to the courthouse, uh, Torrance Courthouse. Uh, we talked to the judge. Um, the the judge in that case believed the case, uh, the cases are related. 
and he doesn't want to make any ruling until um, the judge in the downtown LA uh, made some determination whether or not cases are going to be uh, consolidated. Um, and um, so that's the reason why this morning we went there. Um, the cases got continued for the third time. And it, it, it's not something that I'm proud of because I cannot call my client and say, you know what, I spent uh, three, four hours, go to the courthouse, uh, uh, go to a hearing, and the matter got continued, and I need to go back there again. It's not something that I can bring value to the client, okay? But in this situation, I, I'm not a moving party. I'm not a plaintiff attorney. I have no control of the proceeding. In, you know, in this case, I'm reacting um, to the motion filed by from the other side. Um, and it appears that this attorney, uh, the strategy of this attorney is just attack, attack, attack. All right. Um, on the other hand, um, you know, like the video I talk about, there is a, a every, every attorney has this rule book called California Codes of Civil Procedure. We all need to abide by these rules when litigating the case. So even though you can attack, 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 uh, the nicer attorney like me, uh, I can always tame the, the, the plaintiff's attorney. You know when when the attack comes, and when the attack becomes unreasonable. Okay, so that that's a way we can tame the, the sharks, <laughs> for lack of better words. Um, so, um, I expect this case is going to be fairly expensive, uh, unnecessarily expensive, I should say. And and all litigation cases are, are expensive in nature. Okay, I kind of understand that. I think it's my job is is to litigate the matter as efficiently as possible, but in this case, I I just think you know the the way it's going. Um, I can't do as much as I can, but you know because the the action taken uh, by plaintiff's plaintiff's attorney, it would just be unnecessarily expensive to litigate this case. Okay, um, so. That that's the message here is you know your attorney um, does shape the landscape of your case uh, and it does have an impact on your case whether or not this case is going to be resolved efficiently uh, as to the cost fees and time okay um, so selecting your attorney is an important process until next time I'll talk to you later. channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Please also check out our other videos.